The Buddy Adventure system has been out for about a month now and if you have not been grinding up your Pokemon to best buddies then you are missing out on a lot of different advantages for the Master League and a lot of the other game modes like raiding and Team Go Rocket Battles that have been essential in the past couple of weeks. But of course a lot of people have been neglecting the Buddy Adventure system because getting your Pokemon to best buddies is extremely tedious and a lot of people have focused on just one or two of their Pokemon. Pokemon and they completely ignore the rest. I actually think this is a big mistake and it's actually a lot easier than a lot of people think it is. Basically all you have to do is get your buddy too excited and you will double up on getting hearts. And I know a lot of people do not want to spend their Poke Coins on Poffins but there is actually a method to get your Pokemon excited without having to spend any Poke Coins. And no I'm not talking about a way to get Poffins, I'm talking about how to get your Pokemon excited without you using Poffins. I'm going to be telling you how you can do that in this video. Let's get right into it. How's it hanging everyone? It's me, It's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. I'm really excited to share with you how you can get your buddy Pokemon too excited without using Poffins. But real quick, if it's your first time here to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that little bell as well. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel possible. Go and check out the link in the description below if you want to become a patron. I left a lot of nice little perks, so definitely go and check that out. All right, so with all of that out of the way, let's talk about how you can get your buddy Pokemon too excited without using a Poffin. Now, the way this works is quite simple. Basically, you will want to accumulate 32 points with your Pokemon within a certain amount of time, and it will drive your Pokemon to getting excited. Now, in order to get all 32 of these points, you will have to do a couple of actions with your Pokemon over a certain period of time. Take a look at this picture right here. This lists off all of the different actions and the point value with each of these actions. Once you collect a total of 32 points, your Pokemon will become excited. Seems simple enough, right? All you have to do is take 32 pictures of your Pokemon and it will be giving you double the amount of hearts, right? Well, actually, that's not exactly how it works. Every time you collect at least one point from any of these actions, you will have a cooldown before that action will give you another point. So what that means is that you can't just simply do 32 pictures in a row in order to get your Pokemon excited. You will have to do a couple of actions with your Pokemon every 30 minutes. So this is what I like to do. Basically the first thing I do is I will get the hearts for a lot of these actions right off the bat. So I will feed it three berries and then I will take a picture of it and then I will play with it by rubbing it Giggity. and then I will jump into the battle screen and what I do is I pick one of the three team leaders and then I battle them. But the really nice thing is that you don't have to fully battle that team leader. This is something that a lot of people are not aware of, but if you surrender right off the bat, you will still get the points, you will still get the heart, and that's actually what counts. And then what I like to do is I like to go to the clock app on my phone, and then I'll go to the timer, and I will set a 30 minute timer, and then I will start it. And then as soon as that 30 minute timer is up, I repeat all of the actions that I did before. I will feed it one berry, then I will take a picture of it, and then I will play with it, and then I will do a battle with that Pokemon. If I do these four actions every 30 minutes, eventually it will get excited. And if you do the math, basically you just have to do this eight times in a day. So that means you will get your buddy Pokemon in at least three to four hours. Yes, this may seem a little bit tedious, but if you want to get your Pokemon to best buddies, then this is absolutely essential that you do this. In order to get your buddy Pokemon to best buddies, you have to get 300 hearts. And of course, the fastest way to get that is to double up your hearts every day by getting your Pokemon excited. This has allowed me to accumulate a massive collection of best buddies, and it has definitely helped me out in the Master League, as well as with raid battles, and of course, with Team Go Rocket battles. Having that additional level through best buddies has definitely put me over the edge. I have been able to defeat a lot of difficult encounters, and I was able to solo a couple of raids that I normally would not be able 
able to, and that is because of the extra level that I get from Best Buddies. So it's as simple as that, but there is a little bit of a caveat that you have to be aware of. Niantic implemented a points decay with this system. So what this means is that you will need to make sure you are going at every 30 minutes interval, because if you miss an interval, you will actually lose a couple of points and it's gonna take you a lot more time. So make sure you are setting that timer and you do not miss out on any of the cooldowns. Now let's go back to that list of what gives you points. I wanna highlight a couple of these here. So you can see right here that every single one of these actions will give you at least one point, but there's a few that will actually give you three points. These are definitely actions that I definitely think you should do at least once, but do keep in mind that if you commit these actions, you will need to do them again after you get excited in order to get the double amount of hearts. So what I mean is if you walk your Pokemon six kilometers and get all three hearts, yes, you will be able to get excited right away, but you will be required to walk four additional kilometers in order to get the three extra hearts. So you definitely want to plan it out. What I like to do is walk about four kilometers and collect the first two hearts and that will allow me to get excited a lot sooner, a lot faster, and then I walk an additional four kilometers to collect the last two hearts. Yes, I end up walking two kilometers more than I need to, but at least I can solidify getting all six of the hearts from the excited bonus. And I tend to avoid new Pokestops and new locations with my buddy Pokemon, at least until I hit excited. So that way I only have to spend one fresh Pokestop in order to get both hearts. Now, like I said at the top of this video, there's definitely a couple of Pokemon that will take you over the edge in the Master League and with raiding and with Team Go Rocket battles. So here are a couple of Pokemon that I suggest you get best buddies with first. Dialga is becoming a monster in the Master League and of course with PvP right now with the Go Battle League, Master League is the current format and Dialga is crushing it. It has a lot of type coverage, it has a lot of great moves, you will want to get best buddies with Dialga regardless of what IVs it has because in mirror matchups Dialga actually comes out on top so that extra level actually pushes it a long way. There's also plenty of other safe choices like Psystrike Mewtwo or Groudon and Kyogre. A lot of these have a lot of type advantages in raids but I also suggest other Pokemon that tend to get neglected like Rampardos as well as Lucario. A lot of these Pokemon with the additional level allows you to solo a lot of tier 3 and tier 4 bosses that you typically would not be able to solo. And of course you will be a big presence in legendary raids and you definitely want to do that if you want less and less people to raid with you. Because of course in rural areas and less populated areas it's already hard enough to get a big raid group so you definitely want to contribute to the best of your ability by having your best raid counters with that additional level. And then going back to PvP if you want to focus on the Great League and Ultra League I definitely suggest you focus on Registeel. It's a perfect Pokemon for the Ultra League. And of course, with the Great League, you want to get Pokemon that max out at 40, but don't necessarily hit 1500, like Metacham. Getting the extra level on any of these Pokemon, as long as it doesn't push you over the level cap, is definitely going to give you a strong advantage in PvP. But in general, it doesn't hurt to just get best buddies with a lot of the Pokemon that you love to use. It doesn't matter if they are relevant or if they're going to be powerful in PvP just have fun with it because with this system you will be able to get a lot more best buddies than you typically would so yeah and I also love the fact that having this system in the game has definitely made me more active with my Pokemon and has made me more active with the game in general. Honestly, having this 30 minute upkeep with the game has gotten me to log in a lot more frequently, to check my surroundings a lot more, and also get me to explore and find new Pokestops as well. So yeah, if you want to get best buddies with a lot of your Pokemon without having to spend money on Poffins, well here you go, just use this method every day. But yeah, there you have it everyone. This is my my guide on how you can get your Pokemon to excited without using Poffins and I definitely suggest you use this method every day because like I said that extra level will go a long way in a lot of these difficult game modes. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this method? What do you think about the buddy adventure system in general? I would love to know your thoughts. Let's have a great discussion and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button as well. I am Count Jinsula. And I'll catch you all later.
Hey, how's it going everyone? Before I end this video, I want to talk about how you can support this channel financially. If you really enjoy my content and you want to chip in, well, definitely check out the link in the description below. It will take you to my Patreon page and that is how you can support this channel. And on top of all of that, I left a lot of nice cool perks for you. If you really want to support my channel, then you will not go empty handed. I will continue to improve the quality of my videos, but at the same time, I will add you to my friends list. I will give you a shout out in my videos. Speaking of a shout out, check out these patrons down below. They are the ones supporting my channel and so can you. So definitely go and check it out. And for everyone who supports my channel, thank you. So there you have it everyone. That's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button as well. I am Count Jinsula and I'll catch you all later.